It's a beautiful morning here in Green, Iowa, and today we're gonna check out this 1967 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. You don't see too many of these 67 Cutlasses. You see a lot of 68, 72s. Um, personally, I love the body style of these six and sevens. Good sound and dual exhaust. Now this car is a really straight and solid body, uh, but what I'd classify as a you know older driver quality repaint. Looks great from five foot, but when we get up close, um, it has some chips and things like that that we'll point out in the video. Under the hood is an Oldsmobile 455. It's got power steering, power brakes with front disc up front. Looks like they did some new wiring. It's got a new Napa Legend battery. Battery ends look good and clean. Engine runs very smooth. Really solid firewall. Trim tag still there and still in good shape. Paint on the inner fenders is nice. Looks like it's got a CDI multi-spring, multi-spark ignition. Sorry about that. Beautiful engine, babe. I think I'll have to shut it off, Braids. As I mentioned, for a black car, it's really straight up and down the sides, which we'll uh, see when we go around it, but also has great gaps. Hood lines up really well, nice even gap um, from front to back and across the hood as well. Now the trim work on this car is, to me, it looks to be original. Um, you can just kind of tell by the front bumper, it just shows its age with some little Mars and, and uh, some pitting there. Same goes with the headlight bezels, but uh, great hood gap. And if I had to guess, I'd say this paint was probably done about 20 years ago. Um, if you go around it, you'll see just some little, you know, solvent pop here and there and a couple of rock chips, but it does have a good shine. Um, Chad went ahead and made the decision to put these uh, rev wheels on it. They came in on a 66 Chevelle. He thought they'd look good on this car. And I love the red line uh, tires, just kind of set it off. Couple chips here on the door edge. And I'm not gonna be able to point out everything, but I'm gonna do my best to give you the best representation of this car. But as you can see, door fits excellent. It's got the white interior, which to me looks like it's probably got original seats and door panels. Corner of the door lines up right there. Here's the main door panel, this looks to be Original just kind of shows its age a little bit, but still in pretty good shape for being 50, 60 years old. Corner of the door is rust free. Bottom side of the door is solid. There's your VIN number there. Inside corner of the door is nice as well. Steering wheel, gauge cluster, that all looks to be original. You can just kind of tell with just a little bit of yellowing um, of the chrome there. Headliner's nice and tight. Looks like the dome lights work with the door open here. Same thing with these rear door panels, just have a little wear um, where your arm would hang. Up over the roof looks good. You do have some solvent pop right in here. Rear quarter is solid as well. Just back here too in this back package tray, just a little bit of solvent pop, but the back glass is clean. Trunk lines up nice. And again, just as the I talked about on the front, looks like the rear bumper, rear taillight lenses and bezels are original. Just show a little bit of pitting there. A little scratch has been touched up and a couple chips have been touched up there by the keyhole. Trunk wood lines up excellent. But as you look up and down the sides of this car, it does not look to be wavy. Could use probably a wet sand and buff, you know, just get a little bit better shine on that black. But like I said, just a nice driver quality cruise night, you know, quality car. Looks great from five foot. A little more soul and pop here. Dog leg there looks good in front of the quarter. I haven't seen any bubbles or blisters. And go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, um, and check out the undercarriage of this 
Cutlass, very solid underneath, floors, frame, trunk. Here's your corner of the door. As I said, looks to be original door panels. I love the design on these Oldsmobiles. They're just always kind of neat back in the day. They always seem a little bit, you know, ahead of their time, a little bit different than Chevy and Ford. Door jam paint's decent. Back seat, back package tray and headliner um, look great. Do have a little rise right here in the paint. I like the stance, like the way this thing sits, and um, we're gonna take it for a spin and see how it drives here in a minute. All right, so we're behind the wheel of the 67 Cutlass. We're gonna take it for a spin and see what works and what don't. Looks like turn signal is in the dash work. From the little bit that I've drove this car already, it's a really good driving car, nice tight front end, goes down the road really nice. Odometer shows 96,902 miles. Um, and judging by like the original condition of this one, I'm comfortable to say that that's probably original miles. Of course, it's had some light restoration. As we come up here to the stop sign, brake stop perfect, no pull left or right. Horn works. Wipers work. Yep. You got your aftermarket radio over here, and that works because I listened to it when I pulled it around. It's got rear defrost, heater fan works. Down here you have some aftermarket gauges. The temp gauge we'll check here in a second on our way back once it's had a chance to warm up. Oil pressure gauge works. You're uh, at an idle right around there, 40, 45 pounds. Jumps right up over 60. Um, shift indicator works really nice. The shifter's nice and tight. Looks like your gas gauge is working as well. And then on our sold ticket, after we sell each car, we run it through the shop um, and we'll, our technicians double check all these things, as well as all your lights, uh, fluids. Every car that comes through our shop here gets fully serviced with an oil change. Um, we check all that stuff out a second time before it goes out to you. Good power with this 455. Steering wheel's really nice and tight. Speedometer works. Sorry about the wind noise. I have my windows down here. It's a beautiful day. Um, I believe your speedometer is probably off by about 10 to 15. I don't think I'm doing 78. I think I'm probably doing closer to 68. Um, steering wheel's really nice and tight. Kick down works. I mean, this thing's dialed in. I'm really impressed by the way this thing goes down the road. Uh, we'll check our brakes at a higher speed here in a second once we get up to the stop sign. around this curve here's our brakes again you have front disc really nice pedal and they stop well and here even though we have those bigger tires up front no rubbing there when I made that sharp u-turn yeah this thing scoots good power puts you right back in your seat Hear the four barrel carburetor open up. I bet this is probably 70, 80 miles an hour right here. No shimmy or shake in the wheel. Really nice and tight. This is a great car. Not perfect paint, but a great looking driver that you could jump in and, and drive anywhere you want to go. I feel very confident with that. Um, after we drove a little bit here, our temp gauge is working and has come up. We're running about uh, 175 right now, still running cool. Here's our brakes again, perfect, nice and straight. Yeah, this is a good car, very impressed with the 67 Olds Cutlass Supreme. Check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comment section if you're watching on YouTube. If you enjoy the video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another one of our cars thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.